Hey guys, we're down here at the first stop for the uh, College Bass Opens um, down here at uh, the Harris Chain of Lakes in Leesburg, Florida. It's been pretty good. Uh, practice hasn't been awful for us. Catching a few fish offshore and seeing a few fish shallow. We had a few a cold front run in here at the beginning of the week, so I think it's kind of pushing back a little bit. We're thinking maybe 18 pounds a day to make the top 10, maybe a little bit more. Um, it's hard to say in Florida, there's lots of big fish, but it's kind of been fishing tough. Whether it's going to play a factor in this tournament, but... Yeah, I think, I think it'll probably take 14, 15 a day to qualify, but it'll probably take somewhere around 25 a day to win. You know, it's Florida, so it's probably going to take 25 pounds a day. Um, I think to qualify, it'll probably take around 15 pounds. This tournament's going to have a lot of questions in it, for sure, as far as uh, changing weather conditions, and then with it being a full field, or almost close to full field, we're going to get a lot of popular areas on this lake really crowded, so being able to manage the crowd, and being able to A, catch them on day one, and B, be able to survive when that yeah. cold front rolls around. It's good. Ten seconds to go time for day one of the Strike King Bassmaster College Series presented by Bass Pro Shop. Five, four, three, two, one. Somebody went to the fish market and caught a fat bag. 31 pounds even! Woo! Wow! What? 31 pounds even right there. My name is TJ McKenzie. My name is Seth Jenkins. We're from Emanuel College and today we weighed in, I'd say a pretty good bag. Oh yeah. So Biggest um, bag of we our lives. In, yep, biggest bag. We weighed in 31 pounds today. Uh, we got on a good roll this morning. Seth hooked up with a big one first thing and uh, he, 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 got us, he got us going this morning. I got the adrenaline going. We, uh, it was just, we couldn't ask for a better day, honestly. It's, it's very slow out there for a bunch of people, but you just gotta fish with, fish slow, fish what, oh, yeah. uh, fish what the fish want, basically. Exactly. Um, we were being fished around all day. It's just putting your head down and knowing what you got is right and being slow with it and, um, yeah, no, I, I completely I mean, agree. We, it's, it's not that the fish are super, super particular, but if you put something, if you take the time to fish it slow, like Seth said, and 
put it in front of their face, you'll, you'll get a couple bites. Yeah, we were fishing around all day. Uh, we bounced around between a couple spots that we had confidence in, and we're excited. We, we caught most of our bag early in the morning, and we, we, we let our stuff rest, and we didn't really see a lot of people on it. So we're definitely excited for tomorrow. We think I think we might be able to do pretty good. What do you think? I, I think we'll do really good, too. I mean, we had three spots today, and the first spot took a little bit to get rolling, but after 11.30, we got to our third spot. It was like bang, 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 five minutes. We caught three of our biggest fish, and we left it. So we there could be something bigger there we don't know yet we just gotta have to wait and see but we're gonna we're gonna play it smart we're gonna go through all the scenarios get a strategy in our head and we're definitely gonna tackle tomorrow with our heads down stay humble and uh, do everything we can to support Emmanuel College and most importantly represent him for sure What's going on everybody? It is day two of the College Bassmaster Series presented by Strike King here at the Harris Chain of Lakes. We look a little weird, don't we? That's because it is freezing out here. Yep. We are layered up Lens blowing 20. in our AFCO bibs, in our AFCO jackets, man. But we're still excited. We're pumped. Yeah. The wind, we're gonna have to work with that today. We didn't have that yesterday, but we still got our bites with the wind last week. So we think we can adapt and get in there and still round us up a pretty good bag today. Hopefully. Oh yeah, we were super blessed. We had a windy practice though, so it kind of set us up. Uh, we can kind of use the wind to our advantage, try to do something like that. Still offshore though, so we're gonna be taking on some waves. Hopefully it won't be too, too bad, but I'm pumped. I'm ready. Nerve, the nerves are setting in. I'm pumped, but we're gonna we're gonna give it 100%, and we'll see where it leads to. Good, baby. That's what I'm talking about, son. So we found some shell out here, and that shell goes from about right here all the way out there. And we've just been um, dragging a worm. And we, we've thrown reaction baits. We've thrown everything we can at them. And this is the only thing we can really get them to react to. Yeah, if you don't feel shell, you, you won't, you're not going to catch a fish. But so we've been finding the fish on the grass. And then, so you can't find the, we can't see the shell on the graph, it's weird. At least not the shell they're sitting on. So we'll actually find the fish first and then cast around the fish and then find the shell after that. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about, son. Oh, my. my name's Matt Messer. And uh, we have a pretty solid start. This tournament yesterday we had 25 six. Today it's been a little bit slower. We had some, uh, we got a little bit of north wind. And it cooled down a little bit. And we got some cloud cover today. It's been slow, but we've got three bites so far. One of them's about, I don't know, he's I'm pretty sure he's eight plus. We're thinking we got around 16 pounds just in the M3. And all we need is two more bites. Just gotta keep grinding. Yesterday we pulled up. We have another school straight across from us over here, and. Uh, we pulled up on it yesterday morning and it was firing pretty quick. We only fished till like 9.30 and then we figured we'd slack off of them because we had, we already had our 25 pound and we didn't want to just run through fish that we felt like we needed to have today. So we didn't even fish this school and that left us sitting in third, which would have been a little bit better if we could have got a bigger bag, but we couldn't really 
force ourselves to come over here and just run through four pounders. It just wasn't worth it. Big one. I'm not big that one, but it's big enough. Oh my gosh, dude. That's a 10 foot. God. That's a big one. Big enough. Stay down, buddy. Stay down. Go number five. Get yeah. We just now called this fish out. The five and a half pounder. Called him out. Today total weight, 31 pounds, 15 ounces. New record right here on the Tyler Series stage. Dropping 36 pounds, seven ounces, two day total weight. 61 pounds, 13 ounces. We're gonna bring these guys up from the Manuel College, Seth Jenkins and TJ McKenzie. You need 30 pounds, 14 ounces to take this home. Anything less than that is going to Messer and Messer. 29 pounds, 11 ounces. Two day total weight, 60 pounds, 11 ounces. Uh, throughout the day, it, it was a grind. We started the day knowing that them boys were probably going to catch them again. We needed to catch a real big bag. And whenever we first started out, it was tough. Then we ended up pulling up on another school, and it just started firing, and it was pretty good. We just now called this fish out. The five-and-a-half pounder. <laughs> Jury stage dropping 36 pounds, 7 ounces, 2 day total weight, 61 pounds, 13 ounces.